Hi everyone, my name is Juan Aguirre Villalobos. I'm a medical student at the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health. My presentation today is titled, Laying the Foundation for Monitoring Hypertension Using mHealth in San Lucas, Tolima, Guatemala. And I had the opportunity to have Dr. Sean Duffy as my mentor, who's an assistant professor with the Department of Family Medicine here at UW. I wanted to start off by just giving a brief background about hypertension. So usually it's diagnosed when your blood pressure is greater than 140 systolic, uh, which is your top number, and or greater than 90 diastolic, which is your bottom number. Uh, it's known to cause a variety of health complications and is a major cause of early death. Uh, worldwide, around a billion people have hypertension, and a majority of people living with hypertension live in low and middle income countries. And the essence of our project takes place in San Lucas, Tolima, Guatemala, where a large majority of the population belong to the Cachiquel Mayan indigenous group. Um, medical professionals from UW have been able to maintain a relationship with the medical center in San Lucas that includes providing yearly clinical care and assisting to train promotores de salud, which are local community members. We're currently trained to use uh, mHealth, which is um, mobile health, uh, in this case, meaning a, a smartphone application, um, and that's currently used to help other community members manage their diabetes. The main goal of this project is to expand on the current role of Promotores de Salud to include helping community members manage hypertension in addition to the diabetes that they already help manage. Uh, in order to do this, we'll need to develop an algorithm to implement into the mobile application that allows for effective screening, medication prescriptions, and referral to a physician when indicated. Uh, this foundational aspect of the project is the phase that we're currently working on. And once the app is developed, we hope to ensure optimal hypertension management for patients by comparing the algorithm to physician judgment um, through a pilot group for, of patients and eventually completing a randomized control trial. So currently we've begun by analyzing data from the yearly clinics held in San Lucas in order to determine the burden of hypertension within the community. Um, some of our preliminary data suggests that one in five patients who presents to the yearly clinics meets one or more criteria for hypertension, and that criteria is listed here. Another important finding from our analysis showed that a majority of patients who presented to the clinic with elevated blood pressures did not have a diagnosis of hypertension listed for their visit. So while further analysis is required to portray the current burden of hypertension, some of our preliminary data suggests there could be a gap in screening and management of hypertension within the community of San Lucas that could be filled the, by the promotores de salud that are already in the community. Um, so with the help of a carefully developed mHealth application, such as the one we're hoping to uh, develop with our project, we're hoping this approach would help prevent the downstream complications that could stem from uncontrolled hypertension and ensure that communities are taken care of by members of their own community uh, who are trained for this exact role of managing hypertension. With that, I'd like to thank Dr. Duffy for his guidance and efforts on this project. And I'd also like to thank you all for your time and the opportunity for me to be able to uh, discuss our project here with you all today.